Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Plaintiff v. Karen Reed Defendant Superior Court Department No. 2282 CR00117 Exhibit List in Support of Defendant's Renewed Motion to Compel Discovery 1. Defendant's Motion to Inspect John O'Keefe's Clothing, dated August 11, 2022. 2. Motion for Inspection, Access, and Independent Forensic Testing of John O'Keefe's Clothing, dated February 1, 2023. 3. Motion for Inspection, Access, and Independent Testing of Pieces of Tail Light Seized by the Commonwealth, dated February 1, 2023. 4. Defendant's Motion to Inspect Tail Light and Housing, allowed on August 12, 2022. 5. Defendant's Emergency Motion for Preservation of Evidence, dated February 2, 2022. Defendant Motion for Preservation of Samples for Independent Forensic Testing, dated September 15, 2022. Defendant's Motion to Inspect John O'Keefe's Clothing. Now comes the defendant, Karen Reed, and respectfully moves this honorable court to allow her attorney, investigator and or retained forensic expert to inspect and photograph all clothing of John O'Keefe, seized by the police in connection with this matter. As grounds therefore, the defendant states that this honorable court may order such inspection under Mass.R. Crim.P. 14a, 2. Therefore, the defendant requests that this motion be allowed. Dated, August 11, 2022 respectfully submitted for the defendant, Karen Reed, by her attorney, David Arunetti motion for inspection, access, and independent forensic testing of John O'Keefe's clothing now comes the defendant, Karen Reed, Ms. Rode or the defendant, and respectfully moves this honorable court. To compel the Commonwealth to allow, forthwith, counsel and or forensic experts for the defendant to inspect and perform independent forensic testing upon the clothing worn by John O'Keefe at the time of his death. As grounds therefore, the defendant states the following. 1. On May 27, 2022, the undersigned counsel emailed Norfolk County Assistant District Attorney Adam Lolly of the desire of the defense to inspect John O'Keefe's clothing and requested a date and time to accomplish that. See Yanetti email, dated May 27, 2022, 2022, attached here too as Exhibit 1. 2. August 12, 2022, this court, Crook. J. Presiding, ordered the Commonwealth to allow the defendants, attorney, investigator and or retained forensic expert to inspect and photograph all clothing of John O'Keefe, seized by the police in connection with this matter. C. Defendant's motion to inspect John O'Keefe's clothing, dated August 11, 2022, attached here too as Exhibit 2. 3. On December 16, 2022, the undersigned counsel again emailed Ada. Lolly to request an inspection of John O'Keefe's clothing. C. Yerinetti email dated December 16, 2022, 2022, attached here too as Exhibit 3. 4. On January 5, 2023, the entire defense team participated in a Zoom video conference with Ada Lolly, informed him of the discovery material that was still outstanding, including the fact that the defense still needed to inspect John O'Keefe's clothing. During that meeting, Ada Lolly informed counsel during that meeting that he would let us know by January 16, 2023, when the defense could inspect the clothing. 5. On January 5, 2023, attorney Elizabeth Little emailed Ada Lolly to confirm that he would be contacting the crime lab so that he could let us know by January 16, 2023, as to when the defense could inspect the clothing. See Little email, dated January 5, 2023, attached here too as Exhibit 4. 6. On January 16, 2023 and to date, the defendant has yet to receive an answer from the Commonwealth as to when the defense team can inspect, photograph, and perform forensic testing on John O'Keefe's clothing. The defendant further relies on the attached affidavit of counsel supporting this motion. Wherefore, defendant requests that this motion be allowed and further, that a deadline for a response is set within one week. Dated, February 1, 2023 respectfully submitted, for the defendant, Karen read by her attorney, David R. Yarnady, Esquire motion for inspection, access, and independent testing of pieces of tail light seized by the Commonwealth now comes the defendant, Karen Reed, Ams, Reed, or the defendant, and respectfully moves this honorable court. To compel the Commonwealth to allow, forthwith, counsel and or forensic experts for defendant to inspect and perform independent forensic testing upon the pieces of tail light, from defendant's vehicle, seized by the Commonwealth. As grounds therefore, defendant states the following. 1. On August 12, 2022, this court, Krupp, J., presiding, ordered the Commonwealth to allow the defendant's attorney, investigator, and or retained forensic expert to inspect and photograph pieces of the tail light of the defendant's Lexus, seized by the police in connection with this matter. See defendant's motion to inspect tail light and housing, attached here too as Exhibit 1. 2. On May 27, 2022, 
the undersigned counsel emailed Norfolk County Assistant District Attorney Adam Lawley notified the Commonwealth that when the defendant's forensic accident reconstructionist, Carrie Alvino, examined the Lexus in question, all pieces of the tail light and the tail light housing had been removed from the vehicle. Ms. Alvino was, therefore prevented from inspecting the tail light pieces and housing. See Yanetti email, dated May 27, 2022, attached here too as Exhibit 2. 1. 3. On December 16, 2022, the undersigned counsel emailed Ada Lali again to request an inspection of the pieces of tail light, as ordered by this court on August 12, 2022. See Yanetti email, dated December 16, 2022, attached as Exhibit. 4. On January 5, 2023, the entire defense team participated in a Zoom video conference with Ada Lali, informing him of the discovery material that was still outstanding, including the fact that the defense still needed to inspect the pieces of tail light. 5. On January 5, 2023, attorney Elizabeth Little emailed Ada Lali to confirm that he would be contacting the crime lab so that he could let us know by January 16, 2023 as to when the defense could inspect the pieces of tail light. See Little email, dated January 5, 2023, attached here too as Exhibit 4. 6. On January 16, 2023 and to date, the defendant has yet to receive an answer from the Commonwealth as to when the defense team can inspect, photograph, and perform forensic testing on the seized pieces of tail light. The defendant further relies on the attached affidavit of counsel in support of this motion. Wherefore, the defendant requests that this motion be allowed and further, that a deadline for response is set within one week. Respectfully submitted, for the defendant, Karen Reed defendant's motion to inspect tail light and housing now comes the defendant, Karen Reed, and respectfully moves this honorable court to allow her attorney, investigator, and a retained forensic expert to inspect and photograph all pieces of the tail light of the defendant's Lexus, seized by the police in connection with this matter. As grounds therefore, the defendant states that this honorable court may order such inspection pursuant to Mass.R. Crim.P. 14A. 2. The defendant further states that when her forensic expert inspected the Lexus in question, all pieces of the tail light and the housing of the tail light had been removed before inspection. Now comes the defendant, Karen Reed, and hereby moves this Honorable Court to order the Commonwealth to preserve the following evidence in connection with this matter. 1. All notes of any law enforcement official, police officer and or state trooper of any and all witness interviews, including any notes of anything the defendant is alleged to have said. The defendant is specifically requesting this court to order that such notes are not to be destroyed upon the completion of police reports. 2. All notes any law enforcement official, police officer and or state trooper regarding this investigation. The defendant is specifically requesting this court to order that such notes are not to be destroyed upon the completion of police reports, received Stoughton District Court February 2, 2022 Clerk Magistrate. 3. All turret tapes from any local police department and the Massachusetts State Police regarding this matter, from the first time the police were contacted to the arrest of the defendant. 4. All 911 recordings regarding this matter. 5. All trace evidence, including but not limited to fingerprints, DNA evidence, blood, saliva, and any other bodily fluids. The defendant is specifically moving this court to order that no exhaustive testing should be performed on any evidence in connection with this case without the Commonwealth giving prior notice to the defendant and allowing the defendant to object. All physical evidence, including anything present on or near the decedent at the time his body was discovered, anything found at the alleged crime scene. As grounds, therefore, defendant states that said notes may contain exculpatory evidence to which defendant would be entitled. See Mass. R. Crim. Proc. 14a, 1c. See also Brady v. Maryland, 373 U.S. 83, 1963. The defendant also states that without an order of preservation at this early juncture, the Commonwealth would be held to a lesser standard of preservation, prejudicing the defendant. See Commonwealth v. O'Neill, 93 Mass App Court. 189, 2018, Commonwealth v. Heath, Massachusetts. App. CT. 328, 2016, Commonwealth v. Williams, 455 Mass. 706, 2010, Commonwealth v. Sauceville, 35 Mass Court 15, 1993. Wherefore, the defendant respectfully requests that this Honorable Court allow this emergency motion for the preservation of evidence. Dated, February 2, 2022 respectfully submitted for the defendant, Karen Reed, Affidavit of Counsel in Support of Defendant's Emergency Motion for Preservation of Evidence I, 
David Arianetti, do hereby depose and state that the following is true to the best of my knowledge information and belief. I am an attorney licensed to practice in Massachusetts since December 20, 1989. My office address is 44 School Street, Suite 1000A, Boston, Massachusetts 02108. On January 29, 2022, I was retained to represent the defendant, Karen Reed, regarding the above-captioned matter.